It's raining, but you guys have waited far too long for these two bikes. I have been teasing them in videos, and it's about time that I release them. There was a little break in the rain, but it's gonna start downpouring on me, but it doesn't matter. I'm gonna keep going, because if you want the toughest, most off-road, long-range fat bike, this is what you need. Now, like I said, I've teased these bikes a little bit in my videos, but I haven't released any information. If you're watching this video, however, that means that these are online on boltonebikes.com. They're on my website, and you can actually pre-order them. Now, I'm happy to say that this is not one of those long, drawn-out pre-orders. Yes, you're going to have to wait a little bit, but these bikes are already in production. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and I will pick somebody from the comments to win a Bolton e-bike sweater. Let's mix it up a little bit, since it's kind of a rainy day out here in Grass Valley today. You may notice that this says Biconit on the bike. That is not a brand name that I've come up with. It's not the name of the bike. That is actually the brand on this particular bike, because this bike was not designed by me. I can't take any credit for this at all. I have a friend in China who manufactures and develops e-bikes reach out to me and say, hey, I've got a new fat bike. Would you be interested? He sent me photos and I said, yes. There are so many things I love about these two, yes, two bikes, because these are not the same exact model. And I'm going to tell you the differences between these two. So once again, the brand is Biconit but I will have them on my website, boltonebikes.com. You can pre-order them through me. You can buy them from me. It's raining harder. I'm not stopping. We have to show you these bikes because they're so amazing. I'm probably going to get wet. This is a brand new sweater. Hey, go buy Bolton eBikes merch. Let's start with this guy right here. Now, I've been thinking about this for a while that I've got another fat bike, another 750 motor, another 1000 watt mid-drive motor. It's getting a little complicated with some of the new models. It's about time we introduce some names to clear things up. So going forward, you're going to start seeing some names rolling out on the bikes, and they all have some significance to me. Because I love aviation, I decided that any of the bikes that I sell should have some sort of aviation-related theme to them. So I had to come up with a name for these guys. It's kind of like my own little nickname I'm going to give it. And I'm going to call it the Warthog for multiple reasons. One is a Warthog is, is not necessarily the prettiest animal out there, but they're tough, they're rugged. If you're familiar with aviation, there's a plane called the A-10 Warthog. It's a military ground attack. This is most definitely a ground attack vehicle. Biconit, the brand, is going to be geared somewhat towards the hunting industry to some degree. You can see that in the design of the logo on the front of the bike, and I think it's just a perfect fitting name. So once again, this is the big Biconit. Official name is the MD, standing for Mid-Drive 1000, and the HD for Hub Drive 750, denoting the type of motor and the wattage, but I'm going to affectionately call them both the Warthog. This is the base model right here. Now you can see there's two batteries, one on the top of the frame, and then there's one underneath. So the base model HD750 is going to come with a single battery, and basically there's a blank, so you don't have a big open gaping hole there. Uh, but for $24.99, that's going to be the retail price. There's going to be an awesome pre-order discount. But for $24.99, that's the base model, you're getting a single 48 volt, 15 amp hour battery, a true 750 watt Bafang rear hub motor, you're getting massive 203 millimeter disc rotors, this awesome inverted air fork, which I just love the look of, and you're getting two piston Tektro hydraulic disc brakes, and then, of course, you get a color display. So here we've got a really well-equipped bike, 100 millimeter rims, 
nice big wide tires and you can see it's got plenty of clearance for these tires both front and rear there's even room for more uh, now if we get down to the derailleur high-end components on this guys so here's a SRAM derailleur one two three four five six seven eight nine speeds this is just it's just awesome now I will say this bike sitting here and that one sitting there those are prototype bikes so these are some of the first ones that were made they're not production models so you might see a couple little things that are different or or missing on these uh, there's going to be some extra holes for mounting racks and fenders that might not be on this bike so just be aware that there might be some slight tweaks from what i'm showing you in this video but for the most part this is what you're going to see now what's coming in in this pre-order batch is a very limited quantity of both of these models in the future we will have more color options so we have kind of the sand uh, there's going to be a camo there's going to be some awesome options i'm really really looking forward to it but very limited quantities at first so if you want one of these you better jump on it quickly and limited options on on colors and things so just be aware of that and then with this being the base model and only the single battery you can always upgrade to a second battery if you want more range at any time now if we go up onto the handlebars of course i mentioned that color display getting rained on here i'm not worried about it these bikes are tough and then you have a half twist throttle on the right hand side so just an awesome bike for the money let's jump over to the big one this is the one that i showed off first in one of the videos and several people noticed the drivetrain was a little bit unique i've had people asking for this for months if not years and i kind of kept putting it off but i'm super excited that we can finally offer a Bafang Ultra mid-drive motor. So 1,000 watt rated, 1,500 watt peak motor. But here comes the awesome part. If we walk around here, you don't see a chain at all on this bike. That's because this bike has a Gates belt drive. So that's right, no chain here at all. We've got a belt drive going back to a five-speed Sturmey Archer internal rear hub. So no derailleur hanging down in the brush or the weeds if you're going off the beaten path and everything is sealed inside right here. So we've had people asking for this. They want it for the simplicity, the reliability. Now this isn't the only change between this model and that one. So once again, we've got the hub motor over there, 750 watts. Over here, we've got that 1,000 watt mid-drive, but there's a few other changes. This bike will only be available with two batteries from the factory. There won't be a single battery option, so it's going to be a little more expensive because of that. We've upgraded the tires, so that one's going to have Maxxis tires on it. And then there's a few other little tweaks. We've got a different display, also a color display from Bafang, of course. Wipe some of that water off of there. So we've got a nice color display up here. Now the brakes have been upgraded. So we're still using Tektro brakes, but these are the same ones that are found on the Ultra full suspension mountain bike I've showed off before. So instead of two piston, you have four piston brakes. So even more stopping power than before. Now, if you were looking at the fork because I was moving down there, You'll notice we're not using that same inverted air fork. It's actually an even better fork. This is the RST Renegade, a really nice front suspension fork with a through axle on there. Now, like I said, that's gonna be a bit more expensive. Retail price on this guy is gonna be closer to $5,000, but you're getting a 48 volt, 30 amp hour battery, massive power, massive range. It's gonna be totally awesome i have ridden both of these bikes around of course and i know what you're thinking they look heavy and i will admit they are <laughs> these are not your lightest bikes now that being said i was amazed the very first time i rode this bike because it looked big and bulky i thought the handling was going to suffer because of that but these handle beautifully 
I don't know what sort of sorcery went on with the geometry of the front fork and the frame, but they handle like a much lighter bike. So if you're worried about these on single track trails or that type of thing, don't be two batteries. There's a few questions you might have. Can it work with one battery? Does it have to have both? It can work with one or the other battery. They don't have to be evenly charged. There is a charge port on the bike. So right here, right there, we have a charge port. So you can just plug in a battery charger right there, or if you wanna pull both batteries off, bring them inside, you can charge each battery individually. You can charge them at the same time if you wanna speed things up. Uh, but for simplicity, you can also just plug your charger into the single charge port right there, and it will charge up both batteries. Now, since I'm talking about the batteries, there's one other thing that I think is pretty cool about these guys. It's the first of any of the bikes I've offered to have this. These, when you pop them out, may look like pretty ordinary batteries, but instead of the standard 18650 cells you see in most e-bike batteries, these have newer LG cells that are the 21700 size. So that's physically a bigger size cell inside the battery. Now, no, that doesn't make it super light or doesn't give it more range uh, necessarily than an 18650, but it is a newer technology. So that gives them some room for further battery developments and increases in capacity down the road. Now, like I said, they handle really well, and none of what I've talked about really matters unless we actually go ride these bikes around. Now, the other thing I should mention is the size of the bike. This is not a small e-bike. I am happy to report that I will have other bikes coming out in multiple sizes, but this one is kind of in the future. I appreciate everybody. Now, stay tuned till next Thursday because a lot of people have been asking about the 2020 Bolton e-bikes and when are they going to be back in stock? Subscribe! Subscribe.